Hey yo, what's going on everybody? This is David and today we're going to be reviewing a comfort mod for the PSVR 2. The company that sent me this comfort mod is called Globaler Cluster and basically it's just extra padding for your PSVR 2 but it's also weighted padding. So let me get her here real quick and I'll show you. Don't mind the headphones, I'm going to review these a little bit later in another video. This is from the same company as well but we're just today reviewing the comfort mod and what we have here is as we can see a backrest that is actually weighted this does have extra weight to it so it does help with the balancing of the headset and we've got extra padding here for the forehead and i just want to real quick show you what the stock padding is like and show you why it is so uncomfortable at least for me so this is the stock padding right here and if I press on it with my fingers here, I don't know if you can tell, but there is no actual padding. This is not padded, actually. It is just air. So it's vinyl. And then as soon as I press it down with my fingers, I'm touching the plastic. That's it. There's no actual padding to this. It's just cheap, hollow plastic. Same thing with the backrest. All right, it has some resistance because there's an air pocket there, but there's no actual padding, which is very sad and which explains why I have a lot of forehead pressure and pain after about 40 minutes of wearing the PSVR 2. Immediately after installing this, I was able to play a game for two, three hours. I just beat the game Hubris, which I will review in a later video, and I had no pain whatsoever. And it also kind of fixes the issue of the headset sliding down slightly and you having to push it up all the time. It doesn't fix it completely. I still have to do that, but I would say I have to do that maybe two hours in or something like that. It's not as frequent as when using the stock padding. So let's just take a closer look at this real quick. This back padding is much wider than the stock one, as we can see here. And it's weighted like I said earlier so when you actually grab this by itself you can feel that it has a substantial amount of weight to it which is so nice I don't know why headset manufacturers don't do this out of the box they make all the weight on the front and that just makes these headsets front heavy and all the pressure is either on your forehead or on the headset itself and that is just the most uncomfortable thing in the world this fixes that and the extra padding here, as we can see, I don't know if you can tell in the video, but there's actual comfortable padding here and a lot of it. It is very thick. Not only that, but it does come with extra padding as well. So let me take a look here. If you want, you can also use this type of pleather material to replace that one that I have installed there. The only reason I have that one installed, even though it doesn't provide as much padding, is because it has more grip. These ridges here provide kind of a nice amount of grip on the back of my head. Whereas with something like this, it does kind of tend to slide a little bit too much, but you do have the option. This does come with it, which is really nice. It might come with another type of padding, I'm not sure. You do also have this type of padding, which is very preferable if you have issues with sweating this absorbs your sweat very well i personally don't like this one because of how um, it slides on my skin i find that it slides way too easy so even when i'm not sweating it just kind of slides down my forehead i have i found the same issue with the quest 3 but i know a lot of people do prefer this because it absorbs a lot of sweat and that's very good for those people me personally though i do prefer this pleather type of material even on my quest 3 that's what i use now in the instructions it's also going to tell you to install this top strap as well but you don't need it i've been using the headrest without any top strap for a while and i've had no issues at all with it this does add to the comfortability but i find that it messes up my hair a little too much and if I have to go somewhere or something, I just have to do too much work to fix my hair up. So for me, I don't like these top straps. That's just me personally, but it does come with a padded one 
and it comes with a non padded one as well as you can see there so it does come with a lot of options i really do like how many how many options it comes with oh and by the way it does come with this um this pad here as well which is more of like a polyester type of material here like i said not for me i prefer the pleather one but it does come with that option which is nice also i do have to command global cluster for their little manuals here um, showing you how to install these products i noticed this with the quest 3 and all the other uh, global cluster products their manuals or their step-by-step -step guides whatever they want to call it are fantastic they are extremely easy to follow and they kind of fold out like this as you can see and they show you how to do it exactly with photos and if you don't understand you can go to your amazon page and watch a video on how to do it but i really like this fantastic instruction manual this is really really good i gotta commend them for that so while i was not the biggest fan of the quest 3 head strap i thought there were better options out there i do like the psvr2 head strap this thing is amazing in my opinion it significantly increases the comfortability of the psvr2 it helps with the balancing of it and i literally feel more comfortable using this psvr2 than i do my quest 3 even though that thing is a lot skinnier i i love using my psvr2 now I can wear it for hours on end without feeling uncomfortable or anything like that. So just wanted to let you know, I know this video seems very positive, like I am a sponsor, but I'm not. I really do genuinely like this product. And if they did not send this to me, I was going to buy it myself, like legit. So I'm just letting you guys know. All right. So definitely check it out. I do recommend it. That's going to be linked in the description below. And if you have used it, let me know in the comments below. I want to hear your thoughts about it. Thank you all for watching and have a great day.